Hey guys, in this video we will be going through breakout trading. Breakout trading is a more aggressive trading style. The reason some traders like to trade breakouts is because if you have been following the markets for a while, you know that when price breaks out, there isn't always a pullback. Remember that breakout trading is more risky because sometimes there are false breakouts. Our recommended style is a pullback and a rejection, which is what we call confirmation and confirming that the breakout is a true breakout and not a false breakout. But the choice is up to you, whether you want to be a breakout trader or a pullback trader or a combination of both. So here on the pound CAD, you had multiple long wick candles rejecting support. Now jumping to the daily, you have this falling channel and then a break of the channel, which also makes a higher high. You then enter on the momentum breakout candle with a wide stop loss because you always have to keep in mind that a potential pullback can occur. Now, as price moves up, we had a long wick candle rejecting resistance and then price breaks the trend line. And then you would enter on the break with a wide stop loss like this. So as price came down to this level of support, there were no patterns that formed, no price action, and no trend line break, which means no entry. So let's jump to the Euro Yen. Here is the Euro Yen. And if you watched the previous video, this was a trade we took last week. Again, on the weekly, we are in a clear downtrend with lower highs and lower lows. So the best trades are when you are trading with the dominant trend. Here on the daily time frame, we had a break of trend line and a break of support. And you would enter on this candle here with a stop loss above resistance and above the 50 EMA in case of a pullback. Here's the Aussie cat. And as you can see, we had this falling wedge and when price broke out with this bullish engulfing candle and making a higher high, this is where you would enter. The same thing for where we currently are. We have a double bottom along with a long wick candle. And if we get a bounce around and then a breakout of this trend line, then you would take a breakout trade on a momentum candle, showing that buyers have taken control. So breakouts are also very important when trading reversals, because if you have seen our other videos in a heavily trending market, price can go on and on and on because price is never too high or too low. You cannot assume anything, and you always need price action to confirm your analysis. As you already know, we were stalking the dollar crossed pairs for weeks, waiting for a breakout before looking for an entry. Here on the Aussie dollar, the average trader would see multiple long wick candles rejecting support and think that this is a great trade, and disregards the fact that this is a heavily bearish market. Hence why we needed a breakout to confirm that buyers are actually stepping in. And as you can see, even after all these rejections, price still broke through support. This is the same with the pound dollar. We had multiple long wick candles rejecting an okay level of support. But again, without the breakout, nothing is confirmed and price continued downwards. Here's the Kiwi Yen. And again, you can see how strong this downtrend is. And even though we have moved down significantly, price still continued. And without the breakout, nothing is confirmed. We cannot assume that price will reverse just because it looks extended. We need the breakout to confirm 
the buyers or sellers are actually stepping into the market and have taken control. Here's the Aussie Kiwi. If price pulls back and rejects this level, then you have a possible long trade. But if price breaks this trend line and breaks support, then this would be a good breakout trade because you would be breaking a trend line and a level of support, meaning you would need heavy selling pressure to cause this. The best breakout trades are the ones that occur through multi time frame confirmation. Meaning if you have heavy confluence from the higher time frames, those kinds of breakouts are usually the most effective. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.